Now, if you have to deal with a quadratic inequality that looks like this, really, there shouldn't be much of a problem. The only case is going to be is that you're going to be multiplying out brackets and rearranging everything so it's all on one side of the equation, okay? Or the inequality, rather. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to multiply out brackets and then rearrange. So, if I multiply out the bracket on the left-hand side, we get 2x squared minus 2. And on the right-hand side, we're going to get x take away x squared. Then, I'm going to throw everything onto the left-hand side of the equation. The inequality. I'm, I'm so used to using equation. Inequality, sorry. So, I'm going to add x squared to both sides. I'm going to take x from both sides, and that minus 2 is still there. So that I've now got 3x squared minus x and minus 2 is greater than 0. Now in dealing with that, um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to go straight and use the quadratic formula. Always good to practice it. So the quadratic formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of, minus, of b squared minus 4ac, sorry, all over 2a, where a is 3, b is minus 1, and c is minus 2. So x is equal to minus b, so that's just 1, plus or minus b squared, minus 4, times 3, times minus 2. So 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, 4 lots of minus 6, minus 24, so that's a plus 24, all over 2a, so that's 6. So we've got 1, plus or minus, uh, the square root of 25, so that's 5, all over 6. So we either get 1 plus 5, which is 6 over 6, so we either get 1, or 1 take away 5 over 6, so that's minus 4 over 6, which is minus 2 thirds. Okay, so this is a parabola that is a positive parabola because we've got a number that's positive in front of the x squared. So the parabola looks like that. It intersects the x-axis at two points, minus two-thirds and one. And we're asking, where is the parabola above y equals zero? So where is it above the x-axis? And it's above it here. Okay, I can quite clearly see it's above it there. And it's above it there. So the two solutions are x is less than minus two thirds and x is greater than one. Okay? And that's how we would solve this problem. Okay? You could have factorized at this point. If you can't spot it immediately, I just I would suggest going straight to the quadratic formula. Okay? It gets the job done. Um, rather than you having to worry and muddle about so much, okay? So it's all about good practice skills here.